Today in pre-cal, we started the law of cosines, which is very similar to the law of sines, except uses cosine, obviously. Uh, this is to use when you have side, 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 or side, angle, side. And previously, we've learned what to do with the other types of triangles. This is kind of a last step. The formula is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine of big A. And that's if you're given an angle, you can use that to find a side. Or given two sides and an angle, you can use that to find the third side. That would be this kind of triangle. Or if you have a side, 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 then you can find the angle by doing cosine of A equals B squared plus C squared minus A squared all over 2BC. Now I'm going to box those in separately. You can use those interchangeably depending on what parts of the triangle that you have. Um, I'm not going to write out all the different versions. You could obviously interchange the sides and angles. So if you were given side B, you could put B here and A here, replace all little B's with A's, and then this would be angle B. Notice that this and this correspond. These two correspond as well. Same thing here. B and C correspond in the bottom of B and C, and the one being subtracted is opposite of this angle. So you'll just apply that pattern to your different ones. I don't want to confuse you by giving you more formulas than that, and I'm only going to give you those on the test, so I think that's probably the best way to just kind of stick with one thing. We have three examples to look at. The first is a side, 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 where A equals 8, B equals 19, and C equals 14. And to solve the triangle, you're going to find the three angles that go along. Because you don't have any angles to begin with, you cannot use this formula. Instead, you can use this one to start by finding angle A. So, here's our solving. To get the cosine of angle A, we're going to plug it in. B, which is 19 squared, plus C, which is 14 squared, minus A, which is 8 squared, all over 2 times 19 times 14. If I plug that into my calculator, I'm sorry, let me grab my calculator real quick. I plug that all into my calculator. I need to be sure I put the top in parentheses and the bottom in parentheses. And I get 0.92669. Now, that's what the cosine of A equals. To get A by itself, we're going to do second cosine, second answer. And that angle A is 22.08 degrees. As always, be sure that you're in rate and degree mode, not radian mode. That would be a problem here. And that's our first angle. To find our next angle, we could do the cosine of B equals. And instead of putting B, we're going to put A. So 8 squared plus C squared, which is 14 squared, minus 19 squared, because that's our B, over 2 times 8 times 14. Those are coming from right here. If I plug that into my calculator, So 8 and sorry, this is taking me just a second. Plug that in and do second cosine, second answer. I get that angle B is equal to 116.80 degrees. Okay, now that I have two angles, I could follow that and do it again for cosine of C. Or I could follow the easier method, which would be that when I have two angles to find the third, I do 180 minus A minus B, and that will give me C. So if I throw that into my calculator, 180 minus 22.08 minus 116.80, I get 41.12 degrees equals C. And I have three solutions for this problem, or three answers for this problem, one solution, and I've solved the triangle. Let's look at one in the case of side angle side, where we are given that side B is 15, side C is 10, and angle A is 115. Now notice with side angle side, it's given in that order where I have a side, an angle in between, and then another side. So to solve this, the first thing I'm going to do is to solve for side A, because I don't have that and I need that to be able to get my formula. I'm going to use my formula above. A squared equals B squared, which is 15 squared, plus C squared, 10 squared, 
minus 2 times b times c times the cosine of a. Once I plug it into the formula, I'm just going to plug it in my calculator. Let me clear that so you can see a nice fresh calculator. 15 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 15. Kind of watch your parentheses there. That will make a little bit of a difference um, as far as multiplying the correct thing. And I get a huge value, 451. Remember that that is a squared. I'm even going to write that out for you. a squared equals 451.79. So that means a equals the square root of that number. So second square root, second answer. And that is 21.26. There's that side. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, now I'm more comfortable with law of sines. So I want to use the a's to find my b and c. And that'd be fine. Today, we're trying to learn the law of cosine, so I'm not going to do it that way. Instead, I'm going to find the cosine of big B using my formula that I learned earlier. So cosine of big B would mean to use A squared, so 21.26 squared plus C squared, 10 squared, minus B squared, 15 squared, all over 2 times 21.26 times 10. Throw that into my calculator. It seems like I'm spouting off a lot of numbers here, and really this is just using these formulas effectively. When I do that, I get 0.756. I take the inverse cosine. Be sure when you do that that you are taking the inverse cosine. I know you had gotten last week in the habit of doing inverse sine. That is different. That will give you a wrong answer if you don't do that correctly. And angle B then is equal to 40.8 one degrees. Let's find that last angle C by doing 180 minus the other two. And 180 minus 115 minus 40.81 is 24.19 degrees. It's probably a good idea to always put degrees when we're talking about an angle so that I know the difference between your angles and your sides. And then we've solved that triangle. Okay, actually I'm going to stop there. I did have some extras if you wanted to see some extra examples, but if you want to do that, we can always do that during class. Your assignment for this one is A12, and that's page 443, and it's numbers 1 to 10 all. It's going to seem a little bit excessive, but we're only really spending one day on the law of cosines where we spent three on the law of sines, so I need you to really get that taken care of. You'll have some extra time on your review days if you need more to work on that homework. Good luck, and let me know if you have questions.